Hey guys, I'm Brittany Rivers and welcome to my channel. So today I'm coming at you all with a little travel vlog. I am celebrating my birthday. My birthday is December 2nd. You know, Sagittarius just have to do something for their birthday. I'm going to Orlando. I want to see Universal. We're going to be there for about six days. For the first three days, we're just going to explore Orlando. Then the last three, we'll actually go to Universal. We're staying at a hotel on Universal's um, campus or whatever. But it's the night before. I'm going to finish like a little last of my packing. Tell me why I got an extra wig just in case my wig fly off somehow. Like I just, you never can be too sure. But I got an extra wig. <laughs> um, I'm going to finish packing. And I'll probably see you all tomorrow morning around 4 a.m. I hope you all enjoy this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Madam Brittany and let's get into this video. So at the airport, I got a mimosa. It's just something about having a drink at the airport. It's just so fancy to me. But Memphis redid their airport. I probably have shown you all this before, but it looks so nice now. But we're off to Charlotte and then Orlando. I'm sorry y'all, everywhere wanted to play music super loud so I had to do a voiceover but this is some Nashville hot chicken and waffles at Charlotte's airport and it was bussing like it was so hot. I never had like spicy chicken and waffles. It was so good y'all. But anyway, let's go ahead and head to Orlando. Guys, we have reached Orlando. Let me show you all the hotel. So we're staying on Universal's campus. Like look at that, that looks so high fashion i just love florida in general like it's always so sunny i love it love it love it you guys but we're gonna go in and check in like look at that hotel yeah i'll see you all in a little bit okay y'all so the hotel i was standing in front of at first was the wrong hotel so we got there they were like i don't see a reservation for your name and i had paid for this like i paid for it in full we found out we were at the wrong hotel so I'm gonna show you all the new hotel, the actual hotel, in a little bit. But we're going to my favorite restaurant ever, the Sugar Factory. I got this little set from Diva Boutique. Like, look at that. Okay, okay. Okay. Very cutesy. Very, very, very cutesy. So this is the outside of our real hotel. The other one was way too modern anyway. This one is so Caribbean. I love it, you guys. So this was the right hotel, Low Sapphire Resort. So firstly, we went to like the Museum of Illusions. This is down in Icon Park in Orlando where the Sugar Factory is. And I'm a sucker for anything like touristy, like I love it. So this was so cool. Like one side of the room, I look big. One side, I'll look smaller. So if you walk to one side, like it switches. Then they had this like tunnel. It was just, everything was so much fun. I just love fun stuff. Um, it's just so hard to walk on it because it feels like you're moving. I have never been on one of these. Like, I thought it was cool. All right, so here. Do I need to come get you? Do I need to come get you? It was just full of a lot of cool illusions. Like these Albert Einstein heads just kind of follow you wherever you look. Like if you go up, they look at you up. It was just, it was just a lot of cool things like that. Um, little tricks and then they explain the trick to you, how it works. But I, was, I thought it was really cute. And I just love the area of Icon Park. They have so much. Like, so this is Icon Park, if I didn't explain it well. So it has like a Madame Tussauds, which is a wax museum, the Ferris wheel, just a lot of cool things. I know some people have been to Orlando, but I haven't really gotten a chance to like explore. So I thought this was really cool. <laughs> The Grinch was over there just walking around. Um, I ended up taking a picture with him. I was so hyped. Like, I love the Grinch, y'all. But we went to the sugar factory. And I mean, I guess I just like the aesthetic more than the actual food, I think. 
but I got a caramel macchiato martini and let me tell y'all that thing was busting. I love all of their drinks now the drinks just give everyone knows the iconic like um, dry ice drink the goblet it's fantastic but that martini they have so many different martinis mm. like espresso martinis you should try Every time I go, I get wings, fries, and then the little pretty patties. Um, the pretty patties are usually hard, so um, it's, it's a chance. It's definitely a risk in those. But afterwards, inside of Icon Park, they have this maze of mirrors. And it was so funny. Like, it was so many kids just running into the wall. And I was right along with them. We ended up heading back to the hotel and this is just like a part inside of the hotel. It was really cool. It just looked like a cellar almost. It just led to like other floors, but I like the aesthetic. Hey guys, it's my birthday. Oh Lord, I am old, but look at me. I look a mess right now, but I'm just running downstairs to get coffee. Um, I should get a little cuter in a little bit, but good morning guys. Going down. Look at the pool area. There's a water slide back there, but I've never had a hotel with a water slide, so that's really cool. And they have a hotel bar over there, but let's go get my coffee. Good morning, good morning, good morning guys. A lot of nice places to take pictures. So this is the little coffee shop, pastry, little one-stop shop in my hotel. There's also a universal gift store, but they had some good looking donuts. I had to get me one of them. So we headed to this cool little spot for my birthday brunch. Um, we are huge brunchers. It's called Hamilton's Kitchen. And let me tell y'all, that chicken and waffles was so good. Like, it was fantastic. Got me a little fruit cup on the side and, of course, a mimosa. The views were great. And I just love that it was, like, warm but not too warm. Like, December really is a good time to go to Florida. Okay. Which way? So it's a tradition of mine to get a massage. So we went over to a different Universal Hotel, which is called Portofino Bay. And it's supposed to be like being in Italy. So everything is supposed to look very Italian and cutesy. But I got a massage over there. It was pretty nice. I love it. Hot stones is my thing. I love hot stones. And afterwards, they give you a little champagne and a nice robe like it's really cool they have a sauna and a hot tub so this is the hot tub room which is also pretty nice it was super warm i was waiting for this couple to leave because i just don't like sharing the hot tub but it was nice And this was their hotel's pool. Like, it was nice, but I like ours a little better. After the massages, we got back dressed and went to SeaWorld. I had never been to SeaWorld. It was pretty cool, you guys. You know, we don't mess with stingrays after Steve Irwin, but I mean, it was cool vibes, very cool vibes. I like them being overhead. I thought that was cool. You <laughs> said, hey. <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> this is a bird. Take it. Look, he wants it. Give it to him, Marius. <laughs>
that night we headed to dinner i decided to break out this little black dress uh, it's also from diva boutique online and these shoes from akira which i just love just a cute little walking montage because why not We decided to go to Ocean Prime and the drinks were just fantastic. The steak was good. They also had some really good corn. I always get a ribeye. That's just my thing. The lobster mac and cheese was pretty good. Um, that corn was busting. He didn't like it, so I just took it. Okay guys, so my birthday was so much fun yesterday. SeaWorld was so cool. I love seeing Sesame Street land and like, it was fantastic. I remember my mom teaching me songs from Sesame Street when we would take my dad to work. Like, we loved Oscar the Grouch. We loved Cookie Monster. Those were our guys. I love seeing that. It just made me so happy. And I got so many cool um, ornaments because, like, y'all know I'm a Christmas girly. So I had to get some ornaments, and I'm so happy it's December there because they have all the cutesy ornaments. So my mom wanted a white um, seal. Or I think that's a seal. And I got this, it's really cute. I'm gonna show you all later, but really cute. And the rest are wrapped in like paper because they're kind of glass-like. So yeah, I'm gonna be getting a lot of ornaments. But let me show you all my outfit, O-O-T-D. So I look cute, see it's giving, it's giving. Very cute. We're going to Madame Tussauds. I wanted to go to that forever. Like, I'm so excited. Um, and we're going to the Samals. We might go to both today, I think. And then hit the pool, all of that fun stuff. But yeah, the outfit is giving. So brunch was pushed back an hour because I didn't like that place. So we went to a different place. So we went to Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum to burn time. And I really wanted to go here anyway. It's just a museum full of fun facts and like historical things, um, which was pretty cool. So let me show you all what you all probably know from it. So if it sounds familiar, this is where Kim Kardashian got Marilyn's dress um, that she wore to the Met Gala. And y'all, that dress is so little. There is no way, like, you have to be so small, like, it looked really beautiful, but. One thing I hate is nowadays, or like brunch is usually only like Sunday or Saturday in restaurants. So I thought they were serving brunch, but they weren't. But we went to the yard house and it was so good, y'all. Like, I know I keep getting wings, but it was really good. <laughs> yeah, so after that, we went to Madame Tussauds, saw Obama. Had to get a little picture with Miss Ariana Grande. I just love her so much. But I mean, it was fun. It was cutesy. Michael Jackson, you know, the greats. So we ended up going to the outlet mall and the only star I was just crazy about there was the Victoria's Secret outlet. I had never seen one before and I love pajama sets. So I just went crazy getting so many pajama sets. I don't know why I didn't film the other mall, but we went and I decided to get myself some Chanel for my birthday. Like, I might as well do it big. Like, um, I decided to get some trainers, sneakers, these black and gray ones. They also have that MVN thing on them and they were just so cute to me. I love them. Whenever I go somewhere now, I always get on TikTok and I found this black owned restaurant called The Licking. And let me tell y'all, it was fire y'all. Like I love the music. You can tell by the look of the menu that this is a fire black owned restaurant. So the sides were amazing. Sweet potatoes, macaroni and cheese. That lobster was fantastic. Now the, those wings were little, they were baby wings. But that lobster, the mac and cheese, the greens, yams. Oh my goodness, it was fantastic. And it was right by a Super Target. Like, I have never seen a Super Target. We don't have those here in Memphis. So I was like, let me go in here. I don't really like Target. Like, I'm not a Target girly. I'm Walmart over Target, but it was nice to see. 
my main complaint about Target is they don't carry real groceries. But it looks like at Super Targets they do. But I'm still a Walmart girl. I'm sorry. Walmart is just superior to me. It is what it is. <laughs> But wait, there's more. So after Target, we went home. We took a little nap, got dressed to go to the bar, y'all. We went to this place called Ice Bar. And on the inside of it is like an igloo. It's so cool. So they give you a fur coat and stuff. Um, you can buy one. And they have like a ice part and a fire part. So not many people stay in the ice part. But it's nice to look at. They give you a free drink. And the drink is actually like in an ice cup. So the cup is made out of ice. It's just a nice aesthetic. You see people in fur coats. I'm over here looking like Mary J. Blige, honey. Like, it was fun. It was cute. So I got cold and then went to the fire part. And the fire part, you can see my drink is actually on fire. Like, it was lit. And then I got a birthday shot. Like, y'all, I was over there throwing. I was dancing, you guys. I was dancing a lot. <laughs> hey, guys. It's the first day we're actually going to Universal. I'm so excited, you guys. So, yeah. Okay, so I had to get my coffee. Got some waters. I bought this little coach backpack just for Universal. You know, My voice is a little raspy. I was in that club. I was tearing the club up last night, y'all. I was. <laughs> I was there for a while. If Glorilla came on, you know, Glorilla cannot go on. Glorilla cannot come on. I'm from Memphis. I had to do her little jig. But yeah, I'm about to leave out and I'll see you all soon. Bye, guys. The cool thing about staying at a Universal Hotel is that there's a shuttle that takes you to Universal. So firstly, you go through City Walk, which is really cool. It's like Las Vegas' strip or something. Like You don't need a ticket to go down there. Like It's just a bunch of vibes. It's cool. I like it. Um, so we're walking to Universal. It's just so beautiful. I had never been to an amusement park. And y'all, my mama, she, I grew up on Dr. Seuss. They had a Dr. Seuss land. So I was already super excited about the Grinch. But when I saw this Dr. Seuss stuff, I lost my mind, y'all. I was on those rides with those kids. I was on the carousel. I was doing it all with those kids. Like, I loved Dr. Seuss land. I even took a picture with some who's and they were black. Like, it was just perfect. I loved it. I loved it so much. Y'all, I am a huge Harry Potter fan. So when we got to Hogsmeade, I just lost my mind. It was so cool seeing all of that in person. I went to a cool little candy shop, got a few treats. It's just such a cool aesthetic. I love how themed everything is, no matter where you go. When you go to the comic book land, whatever. And of course, I had to try a butter beer, which is a famous drink in Harry Potter. It was pretty good. So this is another themed room. This was the King Kong room. So everything, like every waiting room is super themed. I loved it. And if you all watch Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, you remember these schools. They gave a really great performance, the all girls school and then the all boys school. If you know, you know, but this was really iconic. my favorite ride by far i don't do roller coasters like that but my favorite ride is harry potter and the forbidden journey this is like the waiting room to that ride you go through the whole castle it's just it was so cool such a great experience I've never been a big Simpsons fan, but now I need to start watching it because their park was so cool and they had a super cool ride. Love their park.
Universal was definitely one for the books. I loved it. So here's a little fit check for the Orlando Magic game. They're playing Milwaukee Bucks. Wanted to bring out the Grateful Dead dunks. And I got the, all of the clothes from Shein. So I had seats that gave us access to lounges. So they have people cutting meat. It was just, they had some of the best cookies, y'all. It was so good. And all of it was free food. Okay guys, so today we are hitting up the water park, but before that, we're going to brunch. Uh, I love, love, love brunch. So many places only do like Saturday and Sunday brunch or just Sunday, like I don't know why it's like that. Some of us are home all day, every day, and we want brunch all the time. But I'm pretty excited. A lot of people will talk about this place or I've seen it on TikTok, so we'll see what it's about. So I found this black owned spot called Brick and Spoon on TikTok and it's usually jumping but we went like a random Tuesday or Wednesday and um, nobody was there so I was pretty happy. I love a good mimosa flight like whenever there's a flight, dessert flight, any kind of flight I need it. It was so good. The mango, I had a mango, strawberry and I forgot what the last one was but it was really good and I also got their deviled eggs and they were so good i'm a sucker for deviled eggs i love 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 deviled eggs y'all and i also got a pancake and bacon you only need one pancake they do have like two but this thing is so huge and it's super duper thick very buttery it is a really good pancake i loved it we headed over to the water park, and since it's a water park, I didn't really get much footage, but it was so fun. I had never been to a water park either. Like, it was just fun, you guys. I did things I never thought I'd do. I went all the way up in that volcano over there and slid down multiple slides. And I don't know how to swim, y'all, but it was so many rides and slides you didn't need to know how to swim on. We headed back to Universal since I still had a little... I had more time on my passes and there was like a parade for the holidays, which was really cute. But that really wrapped up my day, you guys. That's the volcano from the expressway. Guys, I am back in Memphis. Um, it was so much fun. It was crazy. I know I should have probably talked a little more, but um, sometimes the music is just too loud, but it was just so much fun guys we're back in memphis and it's rainy if you all can't see like it's so gloomy i feel like every time i come back from a trip memphis is always gloomy but thank you all so much for watching remember to like comment subscribe oh, subscribe 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 follow me on instagram at madam Brittany. and thank you all so much for watching have a great day guys bye